Hello, 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 beautiful people. Hello, beautiful people. I hope you are well with every time of day you're watching this video. I was, you know, having some me time, thinking about some things, and um, I came across imposter syndrome. So imposter syndrome is something that I think many of us have. We may not know what it is. Some of us may be aware of it. But um, imposter syndrome is when we have these amazing things within us, but maybe we don't think we have them. Maybe we don't think we're good enough. Maybe we are afraid that someone on the outside may think that we're a fraud, you know? And uh, I believe a lot of this stems from childhood, whether it be trauma or just uh, a response to how we expressed ourselves in, in some way, shape or form. So, you know, we tend to maybe think that we are not enough or just afraid to really blossom and show the world who we really are. So, you know, that's something that I struggle with and I just pretty much wanted to make a video about it. Like, there have been many instances in my life when I wanted to do something. However, I didn't think I was quite ready, quite ready <laughs> enough to do it, you know? And me being who I am, the type of person that I am, I always like to just take a leap, <laughs> you know, and, and see what happens. And I will say that the majority, if not all of those instances, I've been able to really surprise myself and just excel in, in different areas of my life as I have taken those leaps and bounds, you know? So I'm, I'm making this video now to let you know that my current struggle right now is stepping into the person that I know I am, you know? And I, I know that I have great qualities and amazing qualities, you know, sometimes I question them so forth and so on. But like, if you struggle with that too, it's okay. The first part is like admitting that, that why, why do we feel this way? You know what I mean? Like, why is it that we feel like our gifts are not amazing? You know, and, and I, I guess it's okay to feel like that. But what I'm really saying is take that leap. Like you have to take that leap. I'll give you a couple of examples really quick. I remember my job working for uh, I'm not going to say I where I work for, but like I remember going on the interview and I, I remember just reading the job description. And it's like, oh, yeah, that, that's that's my dream job. I can do that. But when it got to it, when it got down to it, you know, I'm like, oh, I don't know if I can really do that. I don't think I'm equipped enough, you know, but I got the job and I learned along the way. I was provided with resources in order for me to to excel at my job and, and complete all of the, the tasks that were assigned to me and um, in a pretty efficient manner. You know, another thing was relocating to another country. Well, I mean, how, how can you make it in another country? Like, what does that even begin to look like? I did not know, but I took that leap of faith and I did it. And like a year later, I was just thinking about it, like amazing things have taken place and there are things that have taken place that would not have occurred in my life had I not taken that leap of faith. Um, those are just like two examples of how I thought I wasn't ready for something, but I was ready for it. And number two, whatever I needed, if it wasn't already within me, it was provided for me. So please understand that you already have what you need in order to get started. We are in a very fertile, I guess that's the right word, but we are in a very fertile, I'll say fertile. <laughs> we are in a very fertile season as a collective and whatever your gifts are, whether it be for a business, whether it be your hobbies, whatever your gifts are, whatever you enjoy doing, put time and energy into that and allow it to manifest in the form that you desire because you have it within you. The resources will be provided for you. You just need to say, okay, I'm ready, even though I feel like I'm not ready. And for me, um, I feel like I am I have and I'm venturing out on things that I thought that I never would, but I, I, I did it, you know what I mean? And that's like, that's, that's half the battle to just do it. And I intend to learn, I intend to grow, and I intend to excel. Like, if I don't, I don't know if you follow me or, you know, teaching, teaching 
last year I became a teacher and some of my videos I'm telling you back then man I, I didn't know every day it was like whew, I don't know if I can do this you know but that there were some struggles and some bumpy some bumps along the way but like a year later like I'm doing it and there there's still some struggles but there is proof in the pudding that I have stepped in the role of being a teacher and not just to my students, but to myself and to my colleagues. So that's like, sometimes you just have to get started. It doesn't even matter how you get started. Getting started starts here and then take those, those small baby steps and actions, actions towards doing what you want. Like do it, it's already in you. Resources will be provided and just do your thing like just do your thing because i know six months to a year from now i'm gonna look back at this video and y'all may look back at this video too but it's it's gonna be like i'm going to be like why did it take you so long to get started or why did you think you weren't enough or why did you think x y and z you know just get started if you don't take anything from this video just get started fake it until you make it like believe that you can do it even if you still feel like you're, you're not enough or you can't do it just be like all right i can do it i'm ready to get started and then do it and then you'll be amazing at whatever it is no matter how small or, or large it is just do it be amazing at it especially if you are looking to serve if you are looking to serve it's our season so just do the darn thing <laughs> i'm gonna say it like that and um, yeah, I'll catch up with you in the next video. I hope you were able to gain a bit of motivation, inspiration, so forth and so on. And um, yeah, get started. Tell me right in the comments, what are you thinking about getting started on? Like, come on, let's, let's get started. That's it. All right, I'll catch up with you in the next one. Peace!